Hi friends, welcome to Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel. I'm Jayaprakash Nagatiyali, your mentor uh, for this uh, effective communication course. Okay, in this video, I am going to guide you all about uh, effective communication. Uh, friends, uh, the most important thing in communication is to hear what is not being said. Uh, this quote was by Peter Druck. Studies all over the world uh, have shown that communication is the most important skill that contributes to success. In spite of great technological advancements, communication gaps are seen to be widening between countries, communities, and people. This breakdown underlines the fact that communication is a human skill and not a technological one. The more one learns and practices it, the better we get in our interactions with people. Please say, please comment. Uh, the basics of communication. Oh, what you are shout so loudly in my ears, I can't hear what you say. Ralph Waldo Emerson. The cyclical process of communication involves the sender's message re reaching uh, the receiver, followed by the receiver's feedback reaching the sender. However, this process of stimulus and response runs through rough weather because of human prejudices, prejudices defective projection of message or feedback and due to barriers in environment, human moods, of course, uh, language skills, etc. All the elements of communication, the communicator, the intention, the content, the communicant, the method and the situation are susceptible to distortion. Effective communication is so about overcoming the factors that block or derail the process of interaction and human transactions. The four basic skills of communication are speaking, listening, reading, and writing. While all are equally important, it is observed that people appreciate, respect, and value persons who are good listeners. Most people simply listen to the words that are being said to them, but words contain only 10% of the message. The remaining 90% is hidden in the body language and the tone of the voice. Understanding body language can help you look beyond what people say to what they really mean to remember better what's being communicated to you. Try to engage all your senses while listening as human brain stores pictures, feelings, smells, and tastes more effectively than words. Okay. Let us discuss more about uh, effective listening. Uh, knowledge speaks, but wisdom listens. Basically, there are three types of listening. The first empathy is about drawing out the speaker and getting information in a supportive, helpful way. The second type of analyzing seeks concrete information and trying to separate fact from emotion. The third style of synergizing is about proactively guiding the exchange towards an objective. At its best, a listening involves hearing understanding the information, understanding the emotions, checking your understanding, seeing it from the person's viewpoint without necessarily agreeing. Often, we have too much difficulty listening to other people because we know what we are going to hear. We are seeking information, not information. We are seeking confirmation, not information. What's being said is getting in the way of what needs to be said. Okay, here are 12 uh, rules of effective listening. Listen for ideas, not facts. Ask yourself what they mean. 
judge content, not delivery. That is what they say, not how they say it. Listen optimistically. Don't lose interest right away. Do not jump to conclusions. Be flexible. Adjust your note taking to the speaker. Concentrate. Don't start dreaming and keep eye contact. Do not think ahead of the speaker. You will lose track. Work at listening. Be alert and alive. Keep emotions under control when listening. Open your mind. Practice accepting new information. Breathe slowly and deeply. Relax physically. Get comfortable. Body language and voice skills. Our body speaks even when we do not. Gestures do convey a lot. A cheerful smile, a warm handshake, an appreciative pat on the back, etc. indicate a positive persona. Wooden expressions, distrayed eyes, etc. indicate negative response. More often than not, it helps to be animated and unrestrained in our expression of emotions. However, it is pertinent to note that our body voices, our inner feelings and our real response, despite all our efforts to disguise our thinking, hence body language can be enhanced. Only when we work on our inner prejudices, along with developing positive external mannerisms, the areas of development include our posture, gestures, eye contact, and our attire. Okay, how are you feeling about all these topics? Don't forget to comment. Comment now. Yeah, let me continue this uh, topic for some more uh, time. Um, loud reading of uh, well-written passages of prose and poetry best develops voice skills. Yes, do practice. We need to work on the tone, modulation, and articulation, clarity of our spoken words. The regular use of dictionary and varied reading of literature, history, and contemporary news develop language skills like pronunciation. The speed with which we speak, the use of techniques of repetition and uh, enunciation emphasis help enhance our speaking skills. The top mantra of good speakers is to keep it short and simple. And it's called as in short form KSS, KISS, along with the scouts motto of being prepared. The eight rules of good writing, okay? Please make a note of it and uh, do practice. Write with a reader in mind. Decide what your purpose is. Be sure every sentence and every paragraph helps accomplish this purpose. Say exactly what you mean. Use small, simple words and sentences. Stay away from the passive voice. Keep it as short as possible. When you have said that, what you want to say, stop. Make your point in the first paragraph. Let your readers get the ton of staff from the very beginning. Ton of stuff. Use a format that guides the reader. Title, summary, introduction, body of the report, conclusion, appendices. Write quickly. Build your writing speed by deciding the purpose of your writing before you begin and by using small words and simple sentences. Arouse the reader's interest. Include thoughts and images that will capture your reader's attention and get them involved in what you have to say. <laughs> okay, how do you find this... Uh, a video, the content of the video, please do comment. I'm uh, interested to watch all your comments. And of course, I'm going to reply to your comments. 
Okay, if you are interested to join to our online and offline courses, do call 9341259267. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you. Bye bye.